morning, everybody. I have a great pleasure in giving a model demo of Tangari Prakash trauma system in distal radial fractures. This is a method far superior to distal radial locking plates and uses the unique formula of combining intra and extra medullary fixation by a minimally invasive approach. This not only helps in reduction of the fracture, but also maintains the reduction till union. It is stitchless, scarless, and functional. The clamps are a special design, extremely lightweight, with 1,600 times the pullout strength of similar Umax or Joche clamps. The line shows the approximate fracture line. The first wire is a radial styloid wire, which should go right up to the head of the radius. Second wire is a medial radial wire, which should again go up to the head of the radius. And these two wires are then clamped outside after reduction. The special Tangari wires are 300 millimeter Kitchener wires available in 1.5 millimeters, 2 millimeters, 2.5 millimeters, and 3 millimeters. Here we are using a 2, point, uh, a 2 millimeter wire. The radius styloid wire is now inserted and gradually pushed up in the medulla as it is observed in the CM. The entire thing is done manually only without power tools. We have to move the chuck behind to get a correct level and again push the wire. Once you have seen in the CR that it has not crossed the head, we leave the protruding end out. Now we fix the medial radial wire to the spindle and once again, it is slowly advanced above. Each time we have to loosen, pull back our spindle and push again so that the wire advances slowly, does not perforate the opposite cortex and stops short of the radius. Now, these wires are divergent inside the medulla using a plier and a bender. We bend the wire in appropriate direction. The idea is to get the two wires on the dorsum of the wrist, parallel to the wrist, allowing pulling of the wires together while clamping to provide a dynamic tension to the wires, which acts as a funnel in a funnel effect, maintaining the reduction of the fracture, which was achieved. The special wire bender will allow exact 90-90 bends so that the ends can be brought parallel to each other. The TPTS clamps are specially made with aluminum alloy and titanium, extremely lightweight, but very, very high pullout strength. You can just snap the clamp on the wire and it won't come out. And once it is snapped, all you have to do is put a spanner in the bottom, use a T-handle on the top and tighten the clamp. In case of an ulnar styloid fracture or disruption of the distal radio ulnar joint, we can also add an additional ulnar wire and attach the same to a second clamp. The montage is very flexible and we can individually customize and tailor it to a patient. All protruding wire ends are removed and the patient is asked to mobilize his wrist and fingers immediately after surgery. In all cases, this has to be kept 
for a period of about five to six weeks till the fracture unites. And as early movements are encouraged from day one, even in intra-articular fractures, there is no loss of movement. In this case, dual clamp assembly has been used because the distal radial nerve joint was disrupted. If you want to purchase the book or join a course to learn about MIROS uh, or TPTS, please WhatsApp me in the number given previously. Thank you very much for your kind attention towards the Tangari Prakash trauma system video demonstration of a distal radial fracture. Thank you.